Hello, this is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Krang, and I wanted to talk to you about going wheat free. Not just gluten free, but wheat free and pretty much fully grain free. For, the, for over a year now, I have been wheat free and mostly grain free, and I lost 45 pounds. I'll show you. I lost 45 pounds. I'm wearing my bikini, and uh, my belly has has shrunk quite a bit. That's what I look like now. I am five foot nine, and um, five foot nine, and I'm as fit as I've been since I was a teenager. And uh, I did it mostly from just stopping wheat. I exercise almost every day uh, by walking and riding my bike. And getting cardio and I also eat a lot of uh, instead of eating grain or wheat or gluten products I eat nuts seeds I eat uh, eggs and cheese and I eat whole fat yogurt and I eat unsweetened and I eat whole fat cheese and I eat but I mostly eat vegetables and nuts and beans and I eat grass-fed meat I think wheat is very addictive. I agree with the guy who wrote Grain Brain and the guy who wrote Wheat Belly. I have always had, or generally throughout my life, I've had extra fat on my belly area. And I have more of an hourglass figure. Not that the way people look matters. You know, this shouldn't be about a beauty contest. But let's just say that I feel so much better and I'm not bloated in my belly. Like I still have extra fat on my belly, but that's not my point. My point is not that I'm skinny. My point is that I feel better and I look better and it's easier to do things. And I feel um, like wheat is very addictive and I feel the only way that I could uh, cut down was to just go cold turkey and completely quit eating all wheat products. And there's so much more to eat, like nuts and seeds. And sometimes if I crave cereal, I will have mixed nuts in a bowl with flax seeds, chia seeds, and hemp seeds. And then I have almond milk or um, coconut milk is my favorite on top. Stir it up and that's my cereal. I occasionally have oatmeal, but I avoid grains. I don't eat rice anymore. I don't eat quinoa. I eat potatoes still, but not a whole lot of them because they're high glycemic index. But I eat like huge plates full of vegetables and I eat guacamole and avocado by the spoonful. I eat coconut oil. I eat a lot of nuts. I eat whole fat um, cheese, whole fat, because you know what? Low fat and non-fat dairy products have more lactose sugar in them because they remove the fat and it increases the sugar proportion. So if you eat, ironically, if you eat more fat, I feel like my body is getting leaner by eating more fat and I feel satisfied because I'm eating the fat that I need through meat, cheese, nuts, and seeds, and beans. I don't think beans have fat, but I eat beans, but I don't eat grain. So I feel so much better going wheat free as well as grain free and I am pretty fit you know I'm 45 years old and I'm five foot nine and I'm so tall it's hard to get me in the whole frame here <laughs> I'm so tall so I'm five foot nine and I'm 45 years old and I am just here to say that I think that going wheat-free has helped me more than anything else I've ever done. My thyroid was low active for a while, and now it's normal. And I feel a lot better, and I'm, I'm less moody. I still have uh, emotional challenges, but I'm less moody and irritable than I used to be. So I don't have celiac disease, but I think that the wheat was irritating my body, and I didn't know it, because they say wheat is an inflammatory thing. And I can actually see my ribs. You can't really tell on this on this camera, but I can see like my I can see my body tissue and my muscle definition in ways that I haven't seen before. And so I feel like I haven't just burned off extra fat. I feel like maybe I was bloated and puffy 
and didn't know it. And I'm not saying this because cosmetic beauty is not my main point here. My main point here is that I feel better and I can see that my body tissue is different. And I swear, I feel like my intestines are better. I feel like I digest food and I feel more calm and I feel, I just feel so much better. So I highly recommend going wheat free and not eating those gluten-free fake products and processed foods made with potato starch and, and rice starch and all that stuff. I don't do that either. I just, although I still eat some sugar, the next thing I should cut out is sugar, all refined sugar. Fruit is great, whole fruit, but refined sugar. I don't eat, I never eat corn syrup and I never eat hydrogenated oil, but I eat coconut oil by the spoonful and I eat avocado and olive oil and nuts that's how I get my fat and grass-fed meat. Although I hate the way they treat the animals, but I love meat. So, okay. So that's my nutritional video. Thank you for listening. I am Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring. Feel free to leave questions and comments for me or email me. Shannon, <coughs> ShannonKringen.com is my website. I just got back from New York. Maybe I'll do a video on that. I want to do a video on autism, artistic and autistic, and how it's connected or there's an overlap. And this is my video on nutrition so far. It is now June of 2014, and I'm 45 years old. And I highly recommend cutting wheat out of your diet. There's a lot of people saying it's a bunch of hype, but you don't know unless you do it yourself. So my my challenge to you is try to quit wheat cold turkey because it's very addictive. Try to quit wheat cold turkey for at least six weeks and see if you feel any better or different. See if anything about your health improves. And read the book Wheat Belly or Grain Brain and see what they say. It's very controversial, but I think it makes sense. So I know it's true for me. It's really helped me to, to make this change in my eating for my mental health and my physical health. Also, my appetite is less. I have less of an appetite. That's probably why. And I, yet I enjoy food. I eat all the time. I eat three meals a day and I eat snacks. And I, it's just that my appetite is different than it was. When I ate bread and wheat, I felt like I was hungry all the time and never quite satisfied. And now that I eat more fat and protein and less carbs and sugar and no wheat and no grains hardly ever, I just feel so much better. So... I would say try it and see if it helps you. So thanks for listening.